so you now have a permanent position working from home. And you have so much free time that now would be a perfect time to own an Australian Shepherd. You already know that this breed has high energy and has a need to do a job. So let me tell you how I balance working from home and my Australian Shepherd puppy. So we're gonna be talking from the perspective of a two month old puppy and a six month old puppy. As a two month old puppy, they're mainly gonna be eating a lot, sleeping a lot and peeing a lot. What I suggest is setting up an alarm that goes off every hour to an hour and a half, then take them outside and let them go potty. Another recommendation of mine is do not use pee pads. Now, the reason for this is because you don't want them to feel like it's okay to pee inside the house. On top of that, once they've graduated from pee pads, you have to teach them to go outside rather than inside. So it's just better to start off on the right foot. Oh, and they will wake you up in the middle of the night. So when they do that, make sure to take them outside to go potty. Now, before your shift begins, make sure you do the following regardless of age. Make sure you fed them, you've watered them, they've gone to the potty, you've played with them, and you made yourself a coffee, especially as a puppy, because you're gonna be up all night. As a small puppy, the best way to get their energy out, in my opinion, is playing fetch with them. This creates a great bond with you and your puppy, and they see you as a very valuable thing. I suggest doing this inside rather than outside because outside there are a lot of distractions. Inside they can really focus on you and you really build up that value. Now of course when they're a little bit older, take them outside, take them to your backyard, let them experience the world. Especially around Winston's age. He is 6 months old right now and he's going through a fear period. So the way that we're working through this is by taking him on morning walks. And when he encounters a fearful thing, we put a positive spin on that by giving him a very high value treat. That way in the future, he makes a positive association with that. And when we come back home from a walk, we even go further. We play tug, we play frisbee, we play ball, we play a whole bunch of things just to get his energy out. Your goal is to get them tired and sleeping before your shift starts. But of course, they are not gonna sleep throughout the whole day, so you're gonna have to keep them busy somehow. What we use are Kongs, pig's ears, lick mats, and chew sticks. As a two month old puppy, they're gonna be going through a teething period. If you don't provide them anything to teeth on, they might chew up the trimming of your walls. Our favorite thing to give them, regardless of age, are Kongs and pig's ears. Now I've said this before in many videos, but I absolutely love Kongs. The way that we use it is we use it as a way to feed him as well. We fill it up with pate, we freeze it, and then we give it to him. This keeps him busy, this keeps him teething on something, and then at the end of it, he's gonna get mentally exhausted because he's working for his food. I suggest getting two Kongs. One can be freezing while the other one is being used. As for pig's ears, again, this is something that we really love because not only is it a treat, but it also cleans his ears. It's a more natural way than using dentist sticks. But of course, you have to figure out what your puppy likes. Some puppies may not like chew sticks, some puppies may not like pig's ears. So just provide them with stuff and see what they like and then just keep using that. Now for play time. There's no way you're gonna go a single day without having some sort of play or stimulation. So whenever you're on break, play with your puppy. As a two month old puppy, this is a great way to work on your bond. You could teach them their name, you could teach them different positions like sit and down. Although it's not really required, the main focus is creating a bond with your puppy. Make sure that you are the most valuable thing to them. Now when you get to Winston's age, you are gonna have to go outside. Staying inside is probably not gonna be enough. You can get by, but again, the best way to get that energy out is going outside, toss a frisbee, toss a ball, play tug, you know, a whole bunch of these things. You wanna maximize the time that you have free to get him tired. That way, when you come back in from your break, he's gonna be exhausted, maybe even sleep again. Now my best and last tip is you have to crate train them. This is not optional, this is mandatory. Throughout the day, you're not gonna be able to give your full attention to your puppy. So putting them in a crate, a safe spot is mandatory. You're gonna be on video calls, you're gonna be sending messages, emails, etc. Dear Karen, as per my last email, you cannot have him roaming around your house. This is very dangerous, in fact. You don't know what he's gonna get into. 
So managing him inside a crate is mandatory. More often than not, your puppy is not going to see their crate as a very valuable thing and they're not going to want to go inside it. But that's totally fine. You should be prioritizing their safety over their wants. But you can make it valuable. The best way to do this and that worked for us was every time we fed him, we put him inside the crate. Every time he was done with a play session, we put him inside the crate. And he's actually more likely to fall asleep in the crate at that point after playing because he's exhausted. And then every time that we eat dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever, we put him inside the crate. Now there are some people who might want to set up a play pen for them and a crate kind of attached to it. That way they can go play around in the small area and when they're tired, they'll go back to the crate. But I don't suggest that. Now why? Well, when they're playing, you don't want them to play by themselves. You want them to play with you. You want them to see you as a valuable thing. Every time they see you, they should be thinking, oh, I get to play or oh, I'm going to eat now. You know, build that value. Whereas if you just let them play in a playpen, they can create their own value. They can satisfy their own needs. And this is kind of a slippery slope. Of course, you can do what you want, but honestly, I think this is the best way. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you found it informative and you found some value for this. I will see you guys next time.